I'm balling on a budget, ball, balling on a budget, balling on a budget, ball, balling on a budget. Hi, Worm Dolls, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am showing you this look here. I was inspired by a sunset. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get into this tutorial. So I'm starting with this neon purple. It is from Stargazer. That is a UK based makeup company. And I basically brought all of their neon eye dust and I love them. I'm just working this purple color into my crease with a small blending brush. I do have to basically create my own lid because I have hooded lids. So in order to see the makeup, I have to take it up just a little bit higher on my eye. And I am just working that color to the outer point of my eye towards my eyebrow. So I am loving these eye dust. They are amazing. And I love the color payoff because like I say in every video, I love bright colors. I am using the Life's A Festival palette from Too Faced Cosmetics and I'm using Beeman in that palette on the brow bone and I placed that first before the transition color because I want it all to blend in seamlessly. So I usually start with the brow bone color before the transition color. But I tried something different this time by placing the darkest color first. And so now I am using that, um, it's like an ashy pink shade in the Life's of Festival palette. And I'm using that for my transition color. I can't remember the name, but it will be down in the description box. So after I blended all of that together, I am going to cut my crease. Because I have hooded lids, I find that it works really well to place it on the lid first and then look up so that I will know where it's going to transfer to. And I use the Shape Tape Concealer in Santan. And I am just carving out that cut crease. Here I am using the neon orange shade and because I wanted to kind of simulate a sunset I started with the orange first in the inner corner and I'm just going to work it about a little bit past halfway and this color is so pigmented it is so pretty so dope and I love this color with this purple and so then I was like, you know what, instead of just doing orange, let me add pink. So the pink shade is what you're going to see me add next. And I put that on the tail end and just worked it into that orange. And I brought it out towards the brow bone. And then I also brought it in a little bit, almost like an eyeliner. And I just love these three colors together. It is so bomb. I was like, yes, honey, yes. So I was just doing this as I went along. I really had no clue what I wanted to do, but I'm going to make it work. You best believe. So um, if any of you guys have tried the Stargazer eye dust, let me know what you think in the comments below. So now I am putting the white milk pencil by NYX in my waterline and um, I just wanted it to have like a bright look so that's why I opted for white instead of black and then I used the neon yellow shade in the inner eye on the bottom lid and I worked with the neon green on the outer part of the lid I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do so I'm just putting stuff together then I am going in with my Better Than Sex Mascara and I am working on those lashes, honey. And I used my favorite liquid eyeliner, which is Waterproof H2O Mascara by Wet n Wild. That is my true eyeliner that I just seem to always pick up and I just stick with what I know, but if you guys know a better eyeliner that really shows up on melanin, then please list it below because I am interested in trying something new. So I use NYX Matte Lipstick. This is the Little Denim Dress Color. I really didn't know what color to do on the lips, but since I was doing an all neon makeup look, 
I knew that this blue would be a really bright pop to add to that neon flavor. So this is what your girl did, okay? If you don't like color, this makeup tutorial might not be for you, but I think it looked great. What do you dolls think? Leave it below. See you guys in the next video. Smooches.